So today we're making such a cute cake that looks like a little tree stump. So this tastes like wild berries and there's fresh wild berries in both the cake and the buttercream filling. And turning it into a tree stump is a super simple technique and it would be even cuter if you made little mini cupcake tree stumps. So let's get started. So first we're going to bake the cake. You want to place the raspberries, blueberries and blackberries in a bowl and sprinkle over two teaspoons of flour. Place the butter, brown sugar, and granulated sugar in a bowl and beat them with an electric mixer until they're pale and fluffy. Then add the eggs one at a time, beating with each addition. Then add the vanilla extract and wild berry jam and mix well. Then place five cups of flour, baking powder, and salt in a bowl and whisk that together. Then add this to the butter mixture in three additions, alternating with sour cream. Add the berries and gently mix them into the batter. So my bowl wasn't big enough so I had to switch bowls, so you're going to want to use a big bowl for this cake recipe. <laughs> then spray three 9 inch round cake pans with cooking spray and divide the batter evenly between all pans. Place the cakes on the bottom rack of the oven and bake them at 350 degrees for 40 minutes or until they're fully cooked. Cool the cakes in the pan for 10 minutes, then transfer them to a cooling rack and cool them completely. Then in the meantime, we're going to make the buttercream. Into a small bowl, place one and a half cups of buttercream, a mixture of the three berries that we used, and some wild berry jam. Then combine these and set aside to use as the filling. Set out four small bowls and place a third of a cup of buttercream into each bowl. Place half a teaspoon, one teaspoon, one tablespoon, and two tablespoons of cocoa powder into the bowls and mix well. So these are going to be the four colors for the tree rings. Then place two tablespoons of buttercream in a smaller bowl and add some black food coloring. And this is going to be used for the black marks on the side of the cake. Place the buttercream for the tree rings and the black buttercream for the bark into individual piping bags and cut a small hole at the ends. To assemble the cake, slice a thin layer off the surface of each cake to flatten them. Spread half of the berry buttercream filling in between each layer. Then coat the entire cake in a thin layer of the remaining white buttercream and place the cake in the fridge for 20 minutes for the buttercream to stiffen. Then coat the cake in a thicker layer of white buttercream. Then, using the black buttercream, make small horizontal lines and dots around the sides of the cake. Glide a clean knife over each line to smudge the buttercream, creating a birch bark effect. And so you want to make sure to wipe the knife clean with a paper towel after each use. Then all you need to do is draw rings using the four shades of brown buttercream on top of the cake and you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching. Next week is the last week of our 90 Days of Summer theme weeks and it's a really cute theme. So make sure to check the description box if you'd like a hint and make sure to hit that bunny shaped subscribe button so that you don't miss out on those recipes. And I love you all so much and I'll see you on Monday. Bye!